It seems like every other week we hear about another instance of uh, loss of confidential data. And uh, many times those stories involve uh, an Amazon S3 bucket, uh, the leaky bucket problem, if that's what you want to call it. Um, uh, and these buckets, through misconfiguration, uh, can, you know, have been configured to, uh, to permit public access to any of the files that are located in that bucket. Uh, and public access in this case means that they're able to make a successful HTTP, you know, call to a URL and they can get a file back. Uh, and so uh, Amazon has continued to try to find that, that, that magic approach that, that, that uh, m you know, makes it obvious when a bucket has been configured for public access. Uh, access to the entire internet without authentication. Uh, and uh, so some recent improvements within the last year or so uh, in the user interface um, uh, take advantage of some automated reasoning uh, uh, technologies uh, to, to determine in real time the effect of the policies and the settings that have been enabled on your S3 buckets, and that turns into a bright orange or bright yellow public label being listed next to your S3 bucket uh, in the list of buckets when you're when you're logged into the console into the AWS console. So it's important to check on that, um, uh, you know, from time to time. Uh, we certainly will, as part of our audit, we will absolutely be looking to see uh, if all of the buckets that are that are labeled as public access should be public access. Uh, the, uh, there, of course, use cases vary. One of the obvious examples of a bucket that should be publicly accessible uh, is the um, you know is a bucket that is being used to serve up the static images of our website. Right. Uh, those obviously, you know, uh, otherwise uh, graphics aren't going to appear on our website. Uh, but that's, you know, and that's one example. Uh, but where S3 buckets are being used for almost every kind of data that you could possibly conceive, uh, it's important to make sure that you have proper configurations, proper policies applied to those S3 buckets. Um, and you know you can certainly take it take advantage of some of the resources that are out there the uh, the uh, Center for Internet Security AWS benchmark gives some instructions on how to how to check for that uh, some various tools out there AW, AWS prowler that we use uh, um, extensively in our own audits will help to help you find those and of course logging into the console which you should be doing on some regular basis in some way evaluating whether or not any of your buckets have been Conf configured for public access and making sure that that's the way that it really should be.